Yes. Next nominee, please. Distinguished colleagues, we have before us another nominee, and very coincidentally, one of us, His Excellency Ibrahim Gaidam. You're welcome. You know the procedure. You, you, you've always been here. This is your, this is your chamber. Yeah, you've been in. Uh, in fact, even currently, you just left your seat there. So we want to use this opportunity to thank Mr. President for recognizing our colleagues and then finding them worthy to also cross over to the Federal Executive Council to serve the country. Uh, you have anything you would like to add? Otherwise, you greet your colleagues and in line with the act, which I just read out, uh, Cap. 208, laws of the Federation of Nigeria privileges uh, and uh, enjoyed by members of the Senate and the legislature. Uh, you, you do the needful. I can introduce myself, Daniel. Pro. My name is uh, Senator Ibrahim Gaydem. I was born in Bukerti village, former Gaydem local government, on 15 September 19, 1956. I went to Inusari Primary School for my primary education from 1963 to 1969. I proceeded to Borno Teachers College for my grade two certificate. I completed the teacher's college in the year 1979. Thereafter, I was posted as a primary school teacher. I taught for some two, three years before proceeding to Amori Bello University for my diploma in accounting certificate. I completed the diploma certificate, the, the, the diploma course in 1983. I went back to Borno State and employed as an audit officer with my diploma certificate. I worked there for about three, four years. I went back to Amorebello University to pursue my degree certificate in accounting. I completed in 1990. I then went back to Borno State. I was posted to the governor's office as an accountant 
before Yobe was created in 1991, were all deployed to Yobe State. I was an accountant, assistant director, finance, principal accountant, up to director of finance and supplies in various ministries in Yobe State. I was appointed commissioner and posted to the Ministry of Youth, Sports and Social Development in 1995. In 1996, I was posted to Ministry of Commerce and Industry in Yobe State. I led my office as director of finance and supply. In those days, um, if you are working as a civil servant or public officer, you, you will be allowed to go on steady leave without fee. So I left my office as director of finance and supply and then got appointed commissioner. After the dissolution of the cabinet in 1997, I went back to Minister of Finance as Deputy Accountant General Stroke Director of Final Accounts. I was there then in 1998. I was deployed to Minister of Health as Director of Finance and Supplies. Um, in 1990, 1999, when the civilian administration came in, I was appointed permanent secretary. The position I held up to February 2007, when I retired and joined politics. I ran with my boss, late Senator Mamma Ali. I was his running mate. I, uh, I was his running mate. So we won the election and I was his deputy up for about 20 months. Thereafter, my boss died and I, I was sworn in as the governor of Yobe State on 27th January 2009. So I completed his turn. In 2011, I contested and won election, and I became the executive governor of Yobe State. Also in, in 2015, I contested and won, and became executive governor of Yobe State for a second time. And uh, in 2019, I, I, after expiration of my tenure, two terms, I contested for senatorial seats in Yobe East. I won. I came to this hallowed chamber, and the same thing applied in 2023. And this is why I am, I am now. Thank you. Thank you. I think at that time, the constitution was not abandoned. That if... Uh, an incumbent dies, and the deputy takes over. The deputy will only be entitled to one tenor. Uh, so, so he enjoyed that privilege of uh, going for a clear eight years plus the unexpired residue of his uh, late principal. May the soul of his late principal rest in peace. Uh, Distinguished Senator, Nigerians know you more. You may step forward and enjoy your privilege.
distinguished colleagues, we have uh, the distinguished Senator Aliu Sabi Abdullahi. I'm sure a lot of you are itching to ask him questions. Abdullahi. I'm sure a lot of you are itching to ask him questions. Yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, the Senator Sabi, uh, uh, you're welcome. If there is anything that has changed in your life between the 9th Senate and the 10th Senate, you may, you may, you may, you may go ahead and, and let us know. Otherwise, you move forward and take your privilege. Order. Order. Your Excellency, the President of the Senate, Distinguished Senator Godswill Akbabio, the Deputy Senate President, my own brother, a friend, a confidant, Distinguished Senator Barao I. Gibrin, the leader of the Senate, all other principal officers, my very distinguished senators of the 10th Senate. Let me say to all of you, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. <laughs> Mr. President, sir. I am indeed, I am indeed very, Mr. President, distinguished senators, I am Aliu Sabi Abdullahi, C-O-N, Baradim Borgu, and it is with so much nostalgia that I stand here before you as a ministerial nominee of President Ahmed Bola Tinubu, GCFR. And of course, standing before you here gives me so much joy, knowing fully well that the 10th Senate has already begun to perform that very great national duty that the Senate has always been known to perform. Mr. President, my CV is before you, but let me say very briefly, I'm a veterinarian by training, and I've had 20 years of public service experience before I voluntarily retired to contest in the 2015 election to be a member of the 8th Senate, during which time I served as the spokesman, and I was re-elected in 2019, during which time in the Ninth Senate, I was the Deputy Chief Whip of the Senate. Mr. President, I know for want of time and for the fact that a lot has to happen today, I would definitely want to stop at this level and to say thank you very much for the privilege to be here. And I must give my thanks to President Ahmed Bola Tinubu for finding me worthy of his nomination. Thank you very much and God bless. Yeah, this thing which, uh, this thing which Senator Sabi uh, Abdullahi, you are, you are aware of Order 9, Sub A, privileges are the rights enjoyed by the Senate collectively and by the members of the Senate individually, conferred by the Legislative House's Powers and Privileges Act, CAP 208, Laws of the Federation, 1990, and other statutes or by practice, precedence, usage, and customs. It's important that the public do know that what we are doing here, when it comes to your case and other cases similar to yours, are uh, enshrined in our laws and laws of the Federation of Nigeria and also enshrined in our rules. Uh, but the distinguished senator, we want to thank 
Mr. President, again, for finding us worthy to serve in his cabinet. And we are doing so on your behalf. You may wish to step forward and take a bow. Assalamu alaikum. Yes, lead out the Senate. Uh, eh? uh, uh the, who is the next nominee? Yes, distinguished uh, colleagues, distinguished colleagues, uh, because uh, Senator uh, Henneken Lukwebri is already here and he enjoys the same privilege as others, we may just give him one minute to, to, uh, to mention anything that he wishes Nigerians to know, and then after he will take a bow. Thank you, Your Excellency, the President of the Senate and Chairman of the National Assembly, Your Excellency, the Deputy President of the Senate, the Senate leadership, distinguished Senators of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Mr. President, may I very humbly give indulgence to acknowledge my three Senators from Bayelsa, starting with uh, Senator Dixon, who is representing me from Bayelsa West. Senator Benson Agaraga, and then Senator Benson Kombowi. Your Excellency, my CV is already before you, and I don't, want to, I don't intend to bore you with the details of you know, what is contained in my CV. I had the rare privilege of becoming Speaker of Bayasa Seattle Assembly. I also had the rare privilege of being here for eight years. And thereafter, I also had the privilege of being screened by the Senate and confirmed to be a minister between 2015 and 2019. Uh, your Excellency, thank you very much for the opportunity to appear before you. And let me also seize the opportunity to also express my gratitude to uh, President Bola Tinubu for finding me worthy to be part of his cabinet. Thank you, Your Excellency. Well, the yeah, distinguished Senator Henneken uh, you, you you just mentioned you were already a speaker. You mentioned that you were a senator for eight years, and you are still a senator anyway, but non serving. You mentioned that you were screened by this hallowed chamber and you serve as a minister of the Federal Republic. And you also mentioned the fact that you have also been renominated by Mr. President. Again, on behalf of the 10th Senate, we want to thank the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria for finding our colleagues worthy to serve the nation in the Federal Executive Council. You may now take a bow. Leader of the Senate. Thank you, Mr. President. Mr. President, sitting as chair, distinguished colleagues, it 
it's a Friday, and to enable our distinguished colleagues observe the Jumat prayer, may I move that we go on a break um, and resume our sitting by 2.30 p.m. I so move, Mr. President, Mr. Chair. The Minority Leader. The President of the Senate, the single colleagues, I stand to second the motion moved by the Leader of the House, as a second. The self the Senate. Yes. The Simmons colleagues, uh, today is uh, Friday, and most of our colleagues have already stepped out to observe prayers. So we, we, a motion has been moved by the leader of the Senate and seconded by the minority leader that we take a short break to enable us to offer prayers to Almighty Allah, and thereafter we resume. Those who are in support of this break, Say aye. Those again say nay. The eyes have it. So we take a short break. We resume at 2.30 prompt. 2.30 prompt. 2.30 p.m. prompt. All right, uh, you've been watching the Senate screening of ministerial nominees uh, live in Abuja. Of course, uh, several uh, nominees have come up and uh, they've been screened uh, to a large extent and uh, right now they will go for a short recess and they will reconvene at uh, a little after two uh, whereby we will be hooking up uh, to get more uh, from this.